Welcome everyone. I'm Ms. Dassel and this is Faith and Words Private Tutoring. So today we're going to do a marathon session. So we're going to do section two and three of a math paper. And this paper was sourced from Benko. This was 2021 or 22. I'll have to double check. Right. So we're going to do all of the questions in these two sections with the working as usual. Make sure, try the questions along with me. So pause the video, work out the question, make sure I show you're working. Then press play and see if you get the same answer as me. All right? So let's go. All right. So we have our first question here. Choice had... 590 plants, so I like to underline my keyword clues. She sold 40% of the plants. How many plants did she remain with? So there are two ways we could do this. We could do it 100% minus 40%, which is 60%. Then we find 60% of 590. So let's do that. All right, you should know your fractions, decimals, and percentages, especially the fraction breakdown. So 60% is the same as three fifths. So that's a good shortcut to remember. So you don't have to break this down. So three fifths of 590. Five into five, one, five into five, one, five into nine, one, remainder four, five into 48. Then we have 118 times three. We do a little week in here, make a little week in column. One, one, eight times three. All right, eight threes are 24. One by three is three plus two is five. Three by one is three. All right, so she means with remainder, don't forget the statements during your weekend, 354. Or there's another way. All right, there's always more than one way to solve a math sum once you can prove it by showing your working. Okay, so this is a little longer, but it does the same thing. So we know she sold 40%, so let's find out what 40% is. So 40% of 590. And I'm doing it a long way, but, all right. So we could come here, 59. By four, nine fours are 36. Five by four is 20, plus three is 23. So that means she sold 236 plants. So if it got sold equals 36 plants. But this is not the answer. How much did you remain with? We have to find the remainder. So the remainder would be the total 590 minus three, 236. Uh, so that's four. So we have eight, and this becomes 10. 10 minus six is four. A minus three is five. Five minus two is three. See, we end up getting the exact same answer, but two different ways of working it. All right, so some people, the blue side is easier, but some people, the green side is easier. Find out which one works for you and do it. Once you can show your work and improve it, go right ahead. Whichever is faster for you, go right ahead. All right, let's go to the next one. All right. Number 22, don't forget pause and unpause when you get the answer. Okay, so 
table shows the number of spectators at it. Cricket games over three day period. So we have one, two, three day. Twice as many. That's a keyword coup. So that means two times as many spectators went to the Friday game, the Friday and Saturday game all together. That's another keyword coup. So that means some sort of adding. Than the Sunday game. How many people attended the Sunday game? All right. <clears throat> so Friday and Saturday all together means that we have to add. All right, so 4,814 plus 692, 6,922, 6, 3, 8, 8 is 16, plus 1 is 17, carry 1, 6 and 4 is 10, 11, 11,736. We know that the all together it is two types. So that means Sunday, you're going to have to divide. You're going to do the opposite, All right? So we're going to do some division. So 2 into 11, that's 5. Let's put that there one time. 5, that carried the 1. 2 into 17 is 8. Carry the 1. But remainder one, two into thirteen six, carry the one, two into sixty eight. Right? So twice as many spectators went to the Friday and Saturday game all together. So if I were to multiply five thousand eight hundred and sixty eight by two, I would get the sum of Friday and Saturday. Right? So it's very important to look at the keyword clues in the question. So you don't make a mistake and just do craziness. All right, let's go to the next one. Right, -o. so next one, we have Jackson had 120 oranges. He gave his brother 30. He gave his friend a third. And he kept the remainder. Calculate the number of oranges. He kept keyword clues. All right. So he gave his... Let's, let's, there are two ways we can do this. Actually, no. There's only. Uh, okay. So let's do this. So he gave, let's do the friend part because it's a fraction. Let's get the fraction what we're doing. Right, so give friend one third of one twenty, all right, which is forty. Because what would have been the mistake? Well, the first thing you might think to do is taking a weedy thirty from the brother. All right, and then you'll have 90, and then you probably would have done a third of 90, and that would have thrown it all out. Right? You could have, but just to be safe, right? Um, give the brother thirty oranges, right? So, this is why it's important to put on your statement so you have a roadmap of okay, this happened first, this happened next. All right, next step now. So this total here. So total given is 30 plus 40, which is 70. So he gave away 70 oranges. So easy peasy, we can figure out how many he has left. Remainder. One twenty minus seventy equals fifty oranges, and there you have it. Full, oops, full three marks to get it. Bam, bam, bam.
right? You have your statement, you're showing step by step how you get from point A to point Z. Excellent work. On to the next. All right, so Kishon wants to purchase a bicycle shoe. You see the price. He saved two fifths of his monthly allowance from January to November and was able to purchase a bike. Calculate his total monthly allowance. So every month he saved two fifths of a certain amount until he got 880. <clears throat> All right, so first things first, we need to figure out. How many months is that? All right, so from Jan to November, that's 11 months. Right? So in 11 months, he was able to save $880. So how much did he save in one month? All right, one month. You can use, oops, okay. okay. You can use abbreviations if you like. We're going to divide to find out for one month. 11 into 88 is 8. 11 into 0 is 0. So in one month, he saved $80. So that means, so let's put saved, which was the two-fifths of the month. So two-fifths of the month is $80. So we basically need to figure out the total. So when we have a fraction and a whole number and the question is asking for the total, that should be a red flag, right? That means we're gonna to have to flip the fraction and multiply, right? So the total, as always, a clue in my head. Okay, I need to find, I have a fraction of a whole number. I find total or something, that means some flipping is going on. Pun intended, right? So five over two times $80, Two into two one, two into eight is forty. Forty by five is two hundred dollars. So that means every month <clears throat> and his monthly allowance was two hundred dollars. Right? Nice. On to the next. All right, next one. So at a children's concert, there are 80 boys. There were one and a half times, so there's a multiplication, the number of boys as, girl, as girls as boys. What percentage of the total number of children at the concert were girls. So your answer has to be a percent. Don't make the mistake and put your answer as a decimal, put your answer as a fraction, put your answer as a whole number. If it doesn't have this percent sign at the end of it, you will not get your full three marks. And this is what we want to have, our full three marks. All right, so let's break this down piece by piece. It's a little complicated. <clears throat> right, so let's figure out how many girls there were. Let's use pink. Uh, yeah. So, girls, they're one and a half times. So, let's write this out. We are going to translate the words into symbols. So, one and a half times the boys. Boys is 80. Right, we're going to change this makes number into an improper fraction. So one and a half is three over two times 80 over one. So girls, when we break that down, we get 120. Oops, it's going on there. 
So there are 120 views. So that's what this statement is here. We just saw this statement here. Right? We know boys. Boys equal 80. All right? So we can find the total number of people. Well, children, right? So total children and the sum. So that's 120 plus 80. That's 200. All right. So good. Aha. Uh -huh. So what percentage of the total number of children at the concert? We could. So percentage girls has one twenty over two hundred multiplied by one hundred over one. You find the percentage. Once you find the percentage of anything, you know that you have to multiply by one hundred over one. Four hundred. Right, so cancel, cancel to to work sixty. Right, so uh, answer the sixty percent of the total number of children will girls. Right, we have our statements. We're showing our working. Everything is clear. Full three marks. All right, good. Let's go on to the next one. All right. Lizzie's father wanted to encourage her to start saving money. He made an agreement to give her $5 for every $20 that she saved. So save. Twenty five receive five. Lizzie saved a hundred dollars, so she saved one hundred. So how many groups of five is that? Have twenty groups of five, right? Is basically a hundred divided by five. No, sorry, by twenty. Sorry, made a mistake. By twenty. Uh, nope, I made a mistake. Let me correct myself. Um, right, let me correct myself here. Right, so what I'm saying here is, right, in order to go from 20 to 100, right, that obviously means a multiplication of 5. So, therefore, she received, she saved 20 five times in order to get to 100. So, therefore, she received five sets of $5. So five sets of five dollars is twenty-five dollars, right? So which is five by five dollars, right? So in total, she now has one twenty. Does she have the correct amount? Yes or no. All right, let's check this out. <clears throat> All right, so the total on this side is one twenty. Let's go total.
Right, so this line says in total, she now has $120. Is that the correct amount? No, it is not. So you put no, it is not the correct amount. Right. Because she has a hundred and twenty five dollars instead of a hundred and twenty. needs five dollars more and why does she need five dollars more because if you go back to the question she has saved a hundred dollars and her dad would have given her twenty five dollars a hundred plus 25 is 125, right? So she did not, she, she didn't get, this is not what you add in here. That would be wrong. She got 125 dollars, not 120, right? So don't let these questions trick you up. Okay, let's go on to the next. Exactly. All right, number 27, option A. So we have oil. One liter of oil costs $12. Option B, five liters container of oil costs $52.50. Brian bought 10 liters of oil from the cheaper option. How much did he pay and which option did he purchase the oil from? Explain your answer. So first things we need to figure out how much one liter costs in option B. So you don't know. All right, so we're working on the side. So if five liters is fifty-two dollars fifty cents and one liter, we're gonna divide the two fifty divided by five. Five into fifty-two. That's gonna give us ten. All right, ten fifty. So one liter is ten dollars and fifty. So we can already see that option B would be the cheaper option because one liter in A is twelve dollars, whereas one liter in B is ten dollars and fifty cents. So two things we have to solve: how much did he pay, and which was the cheaper option. So how much did he pay for the 10 liters? So 10 liters would be 10 multiplied by $10.50. Right, we just carry the decimal point. $105. Dollars. Which option did we purchase from? Purchased option B. And that's it. You sure you're working? Three easy marks. All right, so that's it for this session today. Remember, you can click on the other videos to get more section two and three questions 
And if you have any questions for me, feel free to message me on social media. Faith Hours Private Tutoring. Faith Hours Tutoring. Yes, that's up. You can find me on everything. So, practice, practice, practice. Make sure you show you're working. And click on more videos and do some more practice with me. Okay, bye.